Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Dr. Dave. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up a shifter. If that is for a wheel that you plug the shifter directly into or a third party shifter that you plug in via USB. So if you are using a G920 wheel like I am, normally the pedals and the shifter plug directly into it so you don't have to do too much. Just come on to here and you select what option that you are going to need so for me i have the keyboard and the logitech wheel the g920 i've also got the thrustmaster pedals plus my button box that was made by brian davison and also the t500 rs gear shifter which is plugged in via usb so i need to select the options here like I said, if you're using the G920, the G29, the G27, or the G25, then you just select this option because everything's all plugged directly into your wheel. Then you will need to select the wheel as the type, then H shifter here. You can have adaptive um, automatic transmission, but I don't use it. And then you'll scroll down and you will come to this section which is your H shifter setup. So I leave mine on range with simple plus warning sound. So then you're going to select reverse. You're going to put your shifter into reverse and then take it out of reverse. It selects the button. Same for first and second, third, Both, fifth, and sixth. I've got a seven speed shifter, but there is no seventh gear option on Eurotruck. If you also have a SKRS shifter with the toggle buttons to allow you to move from low range to high range, you will have two toggle switches or if you have the shifter made by Brian Davidson, then again, you'll have the two toggle switches. So I always use toggle switch number one, which will be the front switch. And then toggle number two will be the side switch. So there you go. That's just selected both of those. And also make sure that your shifter toggles are in switch mode by ticking this button so that will allow when the when the toggle switch is down you will be in first to six and then when the toggle switch goes up that means you'll be in seventh to twelfth you can also have the automatic gear drive uh, uh, gearbox drive and automatic gear reverse set but these are set to like the xbox control which i don't use anymore so that's pretty much it. And also don't forget that you will need to make sure that your clutch is enabled. So you'll click that and then click your clutch all the way down, all the way up. Make sure your brake is set as well. And also your accelerator. And that is pretty much it. So like I said, select the options that you need at the top. If you are using the Logitech wheel, then you should just be able to use this option at the top. But obviously I'm using uh, Thrustmaster pedals and the Thrustmaster gear shifter. Make sure you're set to wheel and H shifter. Once you're done, click the cross button. You'll come back out and then we'll go to drive. We'll let the game load in. As you can see, I am using the media graphics mod on single player you can't use mods on multiplayer but this will allow you to have just that little bit more um, graphical content it makes the road surfaces and stuff look real the water look more realistic the reflections on your truck the grass etc so it is currently raining at the moment so i'm going to put the clutch down I've got a key on the side of my button box which will allow me to turn the truck on or you can just press the accelerator. Then 
into first. Obviously, make sure that you take the handbrake off. Okay. <laughs> Isn't this typical? It doesn't want to let me use the space bar. Space bar is not letting me take my... Right. So once you go to keys and buttons and you need to find the handbrake. Parking brake. So here's the parking brake. There we go. I've set it to a button on the button box. Go back to drive. Take the handbrake off. Clutch down into first gear. Take off. Into second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Right, back into first. Actually, we're not going to turn left. We're going to go straight over. Just wait for the traffic lights to change. And then I'll show you moving up from sixth to seventh. We're now into fourth, fifth, sixth, clutch down, switch up, into seventh, eighth, it's ninth, Tenth, eleventh, and finally twelfth. These trucks will do around ninety three miles an hour once they get into twelfth gear, long as you haven't got the limiter on. All right, so we're back down to tenth. Don't know why that keeps flashing up on the screen, that's rather random, never happened before. Right, up into 11th and 12th. I think that's the XP mod kind of um, <clears throat> doing that. 
So I'm going to pull over onto the hard shoulder, I'm going to drop the switch down, which then in turn puts me into second, the engine braking's kicking in, drop it into fourth, and finally into first, compress the clutch, hold the brake, take it out of gear, so as I say that's, you can see on the screen at the bottom first, Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, flick the switch upwards, back to first is seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth, and back to neutral. Always make sure you flip the switch back down when you go to neutral, otherwise when you go into first you're going to be into seventh. Right, well I hope that helped you guys and girls. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Dr. Dave, you guys have been amazing, and I'll catch you on the next one.